Great morning, great morning, great morning. It is Brent Harding and you are watching the Wealth Warrior broadcast. It is a pleasure to have you with us today. Trying something a little bit different, you know we always are. Today is the end of month broadcast. Today is the day that we are going over everything that was covered during this month. Are you ready? I am enthusiastic because we talked about living a debt-free lifestyle. Imagine, what would that look like to live debt-free? To know that you have no debt or to know that debt is totally under control, that you make decisions about how you're going to use your money, what you're going to pay off, what benefits you. Can you imagine having a debt-free home? Now, there's something interesting about a debt-free home, and during this month, excuse me, during this year, we're going to talk about that, because we don't want to totally eliminate or unencumber real estate, and we'll be talking about why and how you can do that, even if you have paid off the mortgage. That is sweet. So we talk the entire month, every week, about how you can take control so that you can bring about a debt-free life. So on the third of the month, we talked, we introduced, um, and what it was was a lifestyle, introducing a debt-free lifestyle. And one of the things that we talked about was utilizing videos to stay on top of your game. Some of the absolute best videos on money, finance, controlling your debt, income shifting can be found on www.brentharding.myecon.net. And I talked about my econ as one of the best tools I've ever come upon it is a membership-driven uh, program that allows you to take advantage of all types of tax benefits through three simple things, and one of them is income shifting. Another is utilizing my econ as a as a business, and. It talked about, we talked about passive income, how to create or invest. And so among those things are phenomenal tools. And those phenomenal tools are by way of video. The beauty of them is you can go and go back and see them over and over and over again. That is powerful. So if you didn't get something you want to take, some notes, you get to do that. And what we're talking, or what I'm talking about, is feeding your mind feeding our minds with information, not relying on the things that we know, but gravitating, grabbing more. And the beauty of a video or a podcast, a video you can watch, a podcast you can be listening to while you're driving, but however, it is pivotal that not only do we feed our mind, feed it daily, weekly. I shared with you that Although you're watching the broadcast, that's a weekly feed. What we need are daily feeds, daily information. Also, one of the things that we talked about was getting familiar with the financial language. You can do that on those videos by listening to those videos. It's membership driven. So if you say, hey, Brent, you know what? I'm not interested in owning a business. No problem. You have membership tools that are powerful. Um, you're taught about income shifting. There is something, a powerful tool called Cash Flow Manager. You not only get to use that, you get to show your children how that works. You get to monitor your money. Remember we did the, co the coffee test? And we said, take Take those receipts. We did two tests. We did one with a $100 bill, and we said, how soon would you break it? You cannot use your cards. You have to use this $100 bill. How, when would you break it? What would you feel like when you broke that? Because I don't know about you, but I feel painful. In fact, sometimes I'll keep the $100 bill, and I'll use my credit cards my or my ATM cards. And it was like, no, you can't do that. You've got to break the bill. When will you break the bill? Another one we did was the coffee test. 
How many cups of coffee or tea or cocoa do you purchase a day in a week? And if you are drinking at some of our well-known locations, uh, well-known brands, you could be spending $5 a drink. How many drinks will you buy that day? Have you ever thought, sometimes you could literally spend $50 a week. The cash flow manager puts it in your face. Puts it in your face. And it says, hey, this, take a look here. This is what you've been spending. This is what you spent the entire month. Can you imagine looking at it and saying, I spent $200 on coffee. Because I spent $5 a session. I bought two a day during my work week. So I spent $50 times four on coffee. When you see that on the cash manager, I tell you, I commit to you that you will, that mess will stop quick. So that's what we talked about. We also talked about what are economists saying? And economists are saying that we need to be about the business of structuring ourselves to live a, to, to live a recession-proofing life. So in other words, what economists have said is that we need to become recession-proof. What does that mean? That means that we need to understand our cash. We need to understand that cash is king and that cash has to have its right place. Its right place is up there with credit. Remember, I've always said you can never have as much cash as you have credit. When you have credit, you have access to cash. You've got to position yourself so those credit cards are zeroed out. So you've got cash set aside. So if there's $100 to spend, $50 goes to, excuse me, we're not $100 to spend, rather. Um, if there's $100 here, $50 is going to the savings and $50 is paying down debt. You are creating recession-proofing yourself. And economists are saying now is the time to recession-proof you. If you don't control it, guess what? Somebody will be controlling you. And so that's what we are talking about. Oh, great morning, Pamela. Yay. Oh, my goodness. Great morning. Great morning. It's good to see Valerie Hall. Oh, Valerie has a book out. And Valerie, please put that in the feed. I'm so, I was so enthusiastic to meet her at the Dudley Main Streets event. In fact, while we're at it, let me share some, uh, some of the notables. Um, acknowledgements. First and foremost, want to give an acknowledgement and a shout out to uh, Regina Jones Jenkins. Congratulations! She got a position. The position she was going for, she got it. She nailed it. And she starts on Monday. So show us some love. Say congratulations, please. That is excellent. Also, Nelly Rosario is our early riser! Yes, she is. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. And now let me put thank you to the Dudley Main Streets Women Entrepreneurs Breakfast yesterday morning. I had the privilege of being the keynote speaker. I met Valerie Hall there. I, she's got a book. I'm so enthusiastic. Congratulations. Put, take a picture of your book, put it up on our feed so that everybody knows that. Yes, and I am in thank you, Valerie. I appreciate that. Um, it was an amazing event, and I know Valerie can share and uh, testify to it as well. 75 women and men in the room, entrepreneurs, interested in power networking, and we had a power networking uh, uh, session, a rather power networking session, and it yielded exactly what I believed it could. We had a young lady under 25 who actually got a catering contract. A catering contract. She is known as the Keto Chef. And I am so pleased for her because I do believe we can do business right in the room. And I am launching a very powerful uh, style networking to make that happen. I've got about 20 different ways to do that so that we can cut deals right in the room. So I want to say again, thank you to Dudley Main Streets. Uh, thank you especially to uh, Rosalind Lowe. 
to uh, Janine uh, Jean Richardson, and also to Joyce Stanley. Uh, Joyce Stanley is the executive director of Dudley Main Streets, and board members Roslyn Lowe and Jean uh, Richardson um, brought me on board, and I was honored to be there. Amazing event, amazing people, and people that believe in community, believe in doing business. And I want to share one other. Cheryl Strada was there. She is opening up her restaurant right at the Bruce Bowling Building. She was formerly with Keith's Place. Many of us in uh, the Boston community are aware of that. She's back with a vengeance. So congratulations, Cheryl. Appreciate that. Woo! With that being said, what did we talk about on March 10th? On March 10th, we talked about record keeping. Um, I was speaking with one of my associates, Albertha Bogan, who, by the way, let me give another another shout out and a thank you to Albertha Bogan. And Albertha um, is an amazing woman. She is our lead smart ambassador, and she was with me yesterday at the Dudley Main Streets. And yesterday, she and I had a chat on the way home, and she said, you know what, Brent, I got to tell you, people are not cognizant of the fact that record keeping is oftentimes when you're in an audit that's exactly what the IRS will snag you on is your record keeping and she said that most people not most many people do not keep good records they do not have the receipts they do not make themselves audit proof she says they don't have the documents. Do you know if you have if you are putting all of your receipts, taking pictures of your receipts, having those categorized in your cash flow manager, all you have to do is print it out and you've got your documentation. That is extraordinary. And do it now while it's in the moment. How many of us have said, Oh, I'll take care of that when I get home? Or I'll take care of that when I get to the office. Or I'll take care of that at some other point in time. And forget. Here's a test. How many of I how many of us have ever double booked an appointment? Supposed to go to the doctor's office and then take the child to an after school event. How many of I how many of us have done that? And then we get a call from the doctor's office saying, We'll see you at four o'clock. And you're going, What? Because we didn't write it down. Same thing. Tax keeping our records is critical. You also probably remember me talking about the fact that our signature is our responsibility. When we sign that tax return, when we sign that ten, when we sign that ten forty tax return, or if we are doing a more elaborate tax form, uh, if we're filing a Schedule C, we're filing a Schedule E, we're filing um, a a um, K one. When we're doing any of those, it doesn't matter that. We had our tax attorney prepare it. doesn't matter we had our CPA prepare it. doesn't matter we had our tax preparer pre prepare it. When we sign off on it, we own it. That means that it, we own it. Case closed. Our signature. We can't say, well, we didn't know. Then you know what's, what an IRS agent is going to say? Well, why didn't you read it? There's some of us in a rush, okay, that person prepared it. We figure it's good. Done. No. It is not. Record keeping and signatures are critical. What are economists saying? Because we have a segment called The Economist Says. So what did The Economist say? The Economist said, and in particular, Bernard B. Kamaroff, that's Bernard, B-E-R-N-A-R-D, B, K-A-M-O-R-O-F-F, -E -R -R -F, who is a CPA, who is not paying me, by the way, this is free advertising for him, is writes a book called 475 Tax Deductions. And what he says is we need to understand, we need to open up the book. He has explanations. That's what I love about his book. He's got explanations for the deduction that you are making. Did you know that when you become a member of my econ, that you literally own a business? Membership gives you the right to exercise the business side of my econ. So you can stay as a personal individual. Hey, Brent, all I want is membership. I don't want to be bothered with anything else. That's okay. By virtue of the fact that you became a member, you actually own a business and have the right to make those deductions. 
is that not sweet? That's called a twofer. A twofer. That's right. It is a twofer. I want to share something that Mark um, Everson from the IRS has said. If you don't claim it, you don't get it. And that is money down the drain. Let me say that one again. Mark Everson from the IRS says, if you don't claim it, you don't get it. That's money down the drain. So, brentharding.myecon.net is a viable answer. How about that? Now, we went from... Uh, on the, we went from that posture on the 10th. On the 17th, we talked about personal financial success. And what that means is having cash flow to support our lifestyles during our working years and during our retirement years. Working and retiring. And so what he talked about was something, no, he didn't talk about this. I added this. Not only are you talking working years, retirement years, I'm also saying leave a legacy. Leave a legacy for the next generation. Cash flow during your work years while you, uh, cash flow during your work years is really about our labor force. It's about the labor that we've done. That is cash flow during our work years. During our retirement Cash flow should be generated from our investments, our assets, stocks, bonds, real estate, our business, uh, passive business accounts, our retirement accounts. This is a part of your personal financial success. It's also about how we attain it is that we need to have um, sufficient cash flow now and concurrently we are building investment. Concurrently, we are creating the pass, passive income so that during our retirement years, we live not only the lifestyle that we are living now, but better. And we leave a legacy. Sufficient income to support our lifestyles, passive income during our retirement. How sweet is that. That's what we're talking about. Now, we also talked about, uh, during that segment, um, we also uh, discussed, and bear with me just one moment, just want to make sure I'm staying on track, and I am. We talked about three cash flow strategies, and I want to tell you something. We've got some members right here that are part of our Wealth Warriors that are my econ that have their own My Econ membership. Pamela Stone has her own My Econ membership. Dr. Letitia Wright has her own My Econ uh, uh, membership. So I'm not plucking from the air. I'm talking about people that are part of Wealth Warriors that actually have that. And you have the option of having it too. So all of the content that you are hearing from now to the end of the year is going to be supported by the My Econ membership. I'm going to bring you a portion of it, which is going to tantalize you. However, you are going to, to get the rest, to get more out of it. Your membership has its privileges. Okay, so let me share a little bit more what we talked about on the 17th. We talked about cash flow strategies. We talked about income shifting and what income shifting is about and how it comes about. We also talked about business income. And one of the beauties of being a My Econ member is that you have not only personal, but you also have a business. And that business gives you um Gives you much more. Thank you, N uh, Nelly. Nelly says uh, Nelly is watching and bring them on camera. Oh my goodness! Appreciate her. Appreciate her very, very much. I am so enthusiastic to have all of you with us this morning. Appreciate you tremendously because without you, I'm not here. So I got uh, you. You rock me in the morning and make it possible. So we said you have income shifting. You also have business income and then passive income. So income shifting is the thing that we can do right now. 
business income we can do as a result of the opportunities that are on the My Econ and passive income is about our investing. All subject matter that you will find up on that site. Now, what are economists saying? Economists are saying, I saw an article that I absolutely love from Yes Magazine, and it talked about uh, time banking and being a part of a time bank where you exchange services with each other. And your economy doesn't require your cash. It's about your time. Your time has value. How much do you value your time? Your job may say you're worth $15 an hour, $25 an hour, $30 an hour. How much do you think you're worth? You can put that in a time bank and time bank with other people who will provide services. What if you needed a graphic artist? You might time bank with a graphic artist. That's it's a form of bartering. However, it is a it's membership driven, and it actually you are going up on a site. You can do that in your own life. You can time bank with somebody based on for the services that you are looking to find. If you don't find them within a group of individuals, you might want to go to the time bank. It is an economy that is extraordinary. That being said, it is time to share with you announcements, calendar events, yay! I am going to be live at some events in the month of April, and I want to share them with you. First, I want to share with you on April 17th, I will be at the Microsoft, Microsoft store at the Prudential Center in Boston. The workshop series that I have been telling you about starts on April 17th. I will be at the Microsoft store at the Prudential Center in downtown Boston. And the workshop, the topic, the series that I am running is called, I Want My Life Back. No, I want my life back better. Because if you are answering that question, if you are saying, if you are speaking to that question, if that question is resonating with you, um, not the question, but rather is that statement is resonating with you, I want my life back, then what that is saying is something is happening that's, that's not leading to your happiness. You are not happy for some reason. Yet happiness was back here. And you're saying, I was happier back here. Well, if you were and you want your life back, then yes, we want to help you get that. But here's the point. I say no, you want it back better because whatever you whatever happened from back here to here that now is causing you to say that, we don't want to repeat that. We do not want to repeat that. We want it back better than it was before. We want to be living the life and we need the skills to understand how to get it back better. So if that resonates with you, I will have that that on April 1st, which is tomorrow, we will have the event break page up for I want my life back better. No, I want, excuse me, I want my life back better. No, you want your life back better. So that's on April 17th and that is going to be at 12 o'clock noon. So for those that are going to lunch, come on over. It's the complimentary event. It is a complimentary event. Now, I do not say it's free. That is not true. It is complimentary. I am giving you a gift because there is a cost that's always associated with everything. You know, oftentimes people will say, well, it, it's free. Let me tell you something. Free is not free. There is a cost. Somebody is paying the cost. In this case, I'm paying the cost. For you to be there because it's my gift to you. That's April 17th. April 18th. Oh, we are going to have some power networking going on on April 18th. And this is interesting. I'm collaborating with a young lady. So it is the networking and after party meets the Women in Business Supper Club. Uh, so Brent Harding and Jaquita Rice are coming together. And we're doing a power networking event. Absolutely fun and extraordinary. It's going to be at The Point, which is at 147 Hanover Street in Boston. There is parking around the corner. There is on-street parking around the corner on Blackstone Street. 
that is free. Then there is parking that is in the Boston Public Garage. There is a cost associated with that. We're going to try to work with them to see if we can get um, a validated parking. So right now, there is parking right around the corner on the street, and there is also parking that is in the parking garage. Or public transportation is extraordinary. It's great. Sharon Nix, good morning. Good morning. Sharon, please put on the feed what you do as a business. Please put that on there because people should know about what you do as a business because all of us at some time when we're putting together an event need you. Please put that on your, on our feed. And April 25th, I will be joining uh, the Women in Business Supper Club. I'll be there at that live event. And that is on Eventbrite. All the details about that are on Eventbrite. So we've got the 17th, the 18th, and the 25th. And guess what? You have an opportunity to get my calendar and get all of the dates for everything that's going on. All you have to do is email me. No, don't even do that. Here's a better one. Text me. Say calendar, text calendar to 617-438-7949. Text the word calendar to 617-438-7949 and I will tell you what you need to do to jump on board. And Sharon says hi there, appreciate that. So that is the calendar of events. So what did we talk about on the 24th? On the 24th, we got into the nitty-gritty of income shifting. What is income shifting all about? Have you ever heard that word before? A lot of people have not heard that word. And it is, I'm going to tell you something, as far as I'm concerned, um, my econ has been a, has, has been a blessing because it's done some powerful things. Income shifting is a delicious process whereby you have actually increased the number of exemptions that you are taking from your check, uh, your paycheck, because if you're working a, if you are a career builder or you're working a full-time job um, and you are having deductions from the federal government come out of your check, you have the ability and the right to decide how many exemptions you're going to take. Typically, people take one income exemption. i got to stop for a moment. Good morning, Ravi Abakar. She is from Africa, and she is on board with it. Good morning to you. I am so enthusiastic to have you with us. Thank you for being here this morning. You are in great company with the likes of Sharon Nix, Pamela Stone, Nelly Rosario. Oh my goodness. Yes, you are in good company for a certainty. And I do apologize. I hit a button by accident. We will not do that one again. Um, but I am so enthusiastic. Thank you for being on board with us. So let me continue on with the income shifting. Really pivotal. If whatever country you are in, you want to check and find out if you can increase your income, you can increase your exemptions. In the United States, you can increase your exemptions. Now, though that those dollars that you get are being put to effective use. You're putting them to use to reduce your debt. You're putting them in use to create additional income for yourself. You are making fantastic use of the money. You're not just taking it and spending it. No, 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 no. You are making powerful use of that income. And how you are making powerful use is that you are actually getting that down. You are actually investing in something. You know, when I talk to people, people say, well, Brent, what should I invest in? You know what I ask? Where do you do your shopping at? Do they have stock? That's a good place to invest. Where do you eat at? Do they have stock that you can purchase? What a revelation. In other words, where you are actually you where you are spending your dollars at, you need to find out can you invest in those places? Get a return on your investment. Now, I give a disclaimer. I am an entrepreneur. That's what I bring to the table. I am not 
a, uh, a, tax, a tax preparer, tax strategist, tax consultant. I am none of those. I am not an attorney. I am not uh, a, a, um, a, an advisor, a financial advisor. What I am is an individual who practices the art of entrepreneurship. And I speak from experience to you. That's what I am for you. So, with that being said, income shifting, income shifting is not new. However, it is that people have not understood that they have the right to exercise it. Now, I have to tell you, you must exercise this with understanding. It is not something you just say, hey, I, I, um, I get a W-4 and I want to change all my exemptions and I turn it into the HR department. No, 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 no. That is not what it is. You have to understand how it works because that money still has to be... We want to position you where you break even. So what we're saying is if you are getting money back from your, um, from your, from your federal tax return, if you are getting money back, then you overpaid. Not only did you overpay, you didn't get any interest on your money. Nothing. No interest. Is that the... I'm going to tell you something. That makes me crazy. I got no interest on my money. It just sat there. They got to use my money, lend it out to other people, and they gave me my principal back at the end of the year. And I, I practically had to beg for it. The, make the IRS your friend. Make paying your taxes your friend. Position yourself where you pay the minimum. And you know how you can do that? You can income shift. You can become a member. As a member, you are creating. You are creating something pretty powerful. So let me go right into what the next thing was. The next cut part of this is that getting your cash flow fired up through specific strategies. There are ways that you can get your cash flow fired up. Now, we talked about income shifting. That can free, what that does is you're paying down debt. You are, I would say, let's say you have $100. You take $50, you pay down debt. You take another $50 and you put it into investing that's going to create passive income for yourself. And then you take the other $50 and you put it into savings. What have you done? You have shifted your income. If you have a conventional job, you've shifted your income. You've paid down some debt. You are chunking, I like to call it chunking the monkey. You're paying down debt. You are putting money into savings. And the beauty is that there are elements in which you're going to be able to write off the debt. There may be pieces of that debt that you can write off. Why? Because you have a business. You have a business and didn't even realize it when you have membership with my econ. Now, what other strategies that can you use? You can get the cash flow manager, even if you're not a even if you're not a member, you can get a cash flow manager. But I want to share with you other benefits that you get that make it make sense. The cash flow manager will help you to understand where's the money going to. It is so wonderful when you can go into your tax preparer, you've printed off, you download a print off of that cash flow manager, your report, you take it with you, your tax preparer is going to love you. In that My Econ, you get a cash back mall. Now, what does that mean? You know how we will go up to Amazon and we go up to various places and we purchase? Do you get any money back? Mm-mm. When you are part of, of the My Econ system, you actually get, go, you can visit a cash back mall. If you purchase it in the cash back mall, you are getting cash back. That is adding to your income. That is a strategy. Buy from yourself. That's a strategy. It's a powerful strategy. Buy from yourself. So again, we talked about three types of strategies that will produce for you. Income shifting is a cash flow strategy. I say it's a cash flow strategy because you are flowing that cash to other spots and you are making it work for you. We say business income for a couple of reasons. You either have a business or you let the My Econ be your business. Pamela Stone has a business. I know that Sharon Nix has a business. Rabbi, Rabbi 
Abu Kar has a business. Do you have a business of your own? If you do not, guess what? When you have an My Income membership, you got a business. Passive income. So again, income shifting, passive uh, business income, passive income, creating income that you are not having to do all the labor for. Some of those can be your investments in your stocks, investments in, in bonds. Uh, some people invest in cryptocurrency. There are There is a plethora that you can participate in. At a minimum, at a minimum, you ought to be invested. If you are about the business of eating at whatever that restaurant is and they have, they have a, a, a stock, you need to be getting an ROI. I own a piece of this. I own a piece of that. When I go into Whole Foods and I'm not happy with somebody, I will say to the manager, listen, I'm a stockholder. What's going on in this shop? Because my interest, I have a vested interest in your success because my passive income is a part of that. There you go. What am I talking about? We talked about the reason for getting fired up. Here's the deal. Will you keep doing the same thing you're doing right now? Year after year after year after year. What is the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over and over again. And you're expecting a different result. Come on, folks. Let's get real. Are we going to get a different result? No, but we keep hoping for that. Wrong answer. Or will you take action? Will you take action? That is powerful. That five-letter word, A-C-T-I-O-N. Okay, I'm sorry, six-letter word. Action! You know, we can, we can it's a, a lot of times we put things off. And I employ you not to put things off because the years go by quickly. Quickly! In fact, what do economists say? Economists say You've got to find a way to create income so that you can offset the taxes. Small, you know, believe it or not, the IRS actually does love small businesses. They really do. They really do. It is us. We need to understand how to make it work for us. Small business ownership is the crux of this country. It is the crux of this country. We need to create it for ourselves. I'm just saying. So, we want to wrap up today's broadcast. This is the end of month broadcast, and it is about living a debt-free lifestyle. I want to give a shout-out again and congratulations to Regina Jones Jenkins. She nailed it! She got the position she was looking for. She is a career builder. So, whether you're a career builder or you actually own a business. We all converge on the broadcast on Saturdays, and we all have the opportunity to converge with membership into the My Econ. I want to give a shout out to Nelly Rosario. She is the early riser. She's got the award. Yes! Good morning to you. I want to again thank Dudley Main Streets for having me as their keynote speaker this year. It was a privilege. It was an honor. 75 men and women in the room at 8 o'clock in the morning down at the Bruce Bowling Building was extraordinary. Joyce Stanley, awesome job. Thank you. Rosalind Lowe, I appreciate you tremendously. Jen, uh, Ms. Richardson, Jean Richardson, I want to say thank you all of you for having made it amazing. Also, Pamela Stone, good morning. Want to give a shout out to Sharon Nix. All of you, put your information about your businesses up on the site. We pay in cash. We pay in, dime, in time banking. Let's make a great economy. Want to give a thank you from across the pond uh, to the great continent of Africa, represented by Rabbi Abukar. You guys rock. Calendar announcements, once again, April 17th. That will be posted tomorrow. I will be at the Prudential Center at the Microsoft office. They have a conference room space. I will be there. The name of the event is it's a workshop. 
I want my life back better. I want my life back. No, I want it back better. Will be featured on April 18th. I will be at the point. The after party meets. The after party, the networking and after party meet the women in business uh, supper club. We will be doing a power networking event. Fun, fun, and more fun. And on April 25th, I will be at the Women in Business Supper Club. And so those are my announcements. Also, one other. If you would like to get a calendar of my events where I'll be at live, plus I will even put those that get to me quickly, wherever I have spots on the calendar, I'm going to put in a plug for your business. Put in a plug for your for what you are doing. May, if you put quotes up on the Wealth Warrior Broadcast, I'm going to be pulling some quotes and putting those on my calendar as well. And all you have to do is text calendar to 617-438-7949 and I will send you the instructions so that you can get my calendar every month chock full of good stuff. I send it out once a month. I'm not going to just keep blur, 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 blur. I send it out once a month. I do updates as they come along and I'll send you out something that says, I've got an update calendar. You want it? That's it. But I do them once a month. So I try to pack it in. All right. With that being said, it is a privilege. It is an honor. I know that many people have uh, various commemorations and celebrations today. Um, it is definitely a day of, of serious acknowledgement. Um, some of you I'll see you this evening at 7 p.m. at my commemoration. And uh, otherwise, go out today and be absolutely extraordinary. And I will see you next week. Have a great day. Bye now.